So here I started the assembly of my Y pipe assembly. Put the flappers in the Y pipe um, of the Mercruiser 888, which is now a 351 instead of a 302, and had to here at the center of the Y pipe. It was off um, in spacing for the width on the. Um, on the, uh, what, do, what do we call those, the elbows for the exhaust. And uh, I made these spacers that will space that out. They're an inch and three quarters out, so I made each spacer obviously seven eighths. And um, I already put silicone on here. I just used um, what you would use for a um, boot on spark plugs dielectric grease is just silicone so it's safe um, I have no issues using it here I was pretty liberal with putting it on uh, keeps that o-ring pliable and uh, creates a nice sealing surface uh, for the assembly so I'm just going to apply do the same logic for the uh, spacer so you can put the spacer on now and then put in the uh, grease so that I've had this grease forever and um, it's just the containers getting a little difficult to squeeze it all out uh, well no big deal so put that grease in there some of you are probably thinking I'm crazy at this point but this works for me, why not? There's nothing wrong with this silicone, it's not gonna hurt anything. Okay. A little bit in there. The rings in there, nice. I followed the specification for an O-ring groove of this size and it actually came out really nice. I just duplicated the o-ring that um, is called out for here and now the rag and we should be in good shape here so let's see here have nice clean surfaces here for the uh, Y pipe and it should just bolt right up I feel like I'm forgetting some. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put a lock washer on here. Mm. These are the first videos I've done, so. Forgive me, I'm learning. It's all about learning, in my opinion. So, to try to capture this and talk and do the work and make sure your wrenches are in the right spot, which of course they're not, but of course I have another one here. Let's see what we got here. Should be. Yeah, 916. Anyways. You get the gist. We'll uh, tighten that up real good. Yeah, I know. There's still one over there. I got it. I got it. New hardware. I like new hardware and everything. Requirement? No. Actually, I had to on this one because the spacer wasn't going to fit. Had socket head cap screws on here, but at the store I went to, they had what I needed in stainless, but they were they wanted three bucks a piece for them, or it was like two fifty nine. But there's no way I'm paying two dollars and fifty nine cents for a screw, so I settled for the hex, which will be fine. I I'll clean this up, paint them won't have any issues with corrosion once they're painted. 
so I'm just alternating the, that o-ring is what's happening is that o-ring is just compressing Ooh, I'm feeling the bottom here but it's starting to feel like it's pretty good but <coughs> anyways there's that spacer it should be a really nice seal it has those o-rings in there um, I'm pretty happy with it I'll do the other side and see how she bolts up <laughs> <laughs> 